Uh, I'm 63, I'm from Lincoln in the UK, um, and uh, I'm retired. Um, I retired fairly recently, and I'd always said that uh, when I did retire, there were a couple of things that I really wanted to do. One of them was to play more golf, which I've succeeded in, um, and the other was to learn this thing, to learn the guitar. Now, you'll see from behind me that um, I've got a lot of bass guitars. Um, for those of you who don't know, the bass guitar really is a very, very different instrument to a standard six-string guitar, um, which requires completely different sort of playing skills, if you like. I've been playing the bass guitar for ooh, a lot of years, um, but I've never been able to play a guitar. Uh, I've owned this thing for about 15 years. When I first bought it, I guess I sort of learned to strum a few chords, but could never really get on with it. I found it really, really difficult. Um, and frankly, just put it down and uh, it's, it's just sort of sat in my house for the last 15 years and gathering dust, I guess. Um, but because I retired, and I suppose also because of lockdown, so suddenly found myself with lots of time on my hands, I thought, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually try and learn this thing. So I started looking around um, for a bit of help and a course or two, um, and stumbled across, can't actually remember how, it might have been on Facebook, might have just been on Google, but stumbled across Ian O'Brien's process, which starts off with something called Django chords, so learning Django chords. Um, and I thought I'd give it a try. I, I started on a free trial and really enjoyed it and liked the way that Ian taught. So decided that I was going to um, uh, buy, the, buy the course proper, as it were. Um, as I say, it starts off with some, something called the Django chord system. Django chords, of which there are half a dozen. Um, I wouldn't say that they're necessarily simpler chords. They are proper chords that enable you to, you know, to play songs, play chords and play songs. The beauty of them is that they are songs, or rather chords, which enable you to move from one chord to the other with a minimal amount of finger movement. And I know for a lot of people, and certainly for me, one of the big problems as you start to learn chords is actually getting from one to the other. You can place your fingers eventually, you can place your fingers in, on the right strings to play a chord, but in order to play a song, clearly you've got to be able to move from one chord to another. Uh, reasonably fluently uh, and that's always been a real strain but as I say with the Django chords they're, they're set up in such a way that you can move from one to the other comparatively easily. Um, the beauty of the, there's a couple of real benefits I think in, in Ian's um, process. His learning style is fantastic, he's incredibly supportive, um, if you've got questions he's very prompt to answer them, it's almost like having a sort of a face-to-face uh, guitar tutor, uh, albeit at the end of uh, the end of the internet, um, his, his, uh, the system itself relies heavily on not only but but largely on on videos. Um, he explains stuff on his videos extremely clearly, very very simple, and really treats people and 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 me in particular as a as a complete beginner, which is which is what I am. So it takes it at a very slow pace. Um, and explains everything very, very clearly, and just doesn't just sort of say, well, you know, put this finger there and that finger there. He actually explains a little bit more about some tips and techniques to make sure that the chords that you play are as, as clean as, as, as they can be, as they, they need to be. Um, I've been doing this course for a few weeks now, not all that long. I practice probably no more than 15 to 30 minutes a day, and that's really apparently all you need um, and in that time I've got to the stage where I'm just starting to play a few songs not, not brilliantly admittedly but it's very very early days but the progress um, has been very very quick um, which is which is fabulous and that's what you need obviously you want fairly quickly to be making good progress so that you can keep your motivation up. Um, I think for me one of the other beauties of the, of the whole process is the fact that Ian has created a Facebook group, Facebook group, um, which all people of the um, who are on the process have the opportunity to join this group, and all of the, the members on the group, certainly all the ones I've had any dealings with, are incredibly supportive. Uh, it makes the whole thing 
so much easier when you know that there are lots of people in this exactly the same situation as you are you know they've got sore fingers and they're finding it difficult and they have good days and bad days and, and I think you know we all, we all suffer from that as it were um, and and Ian also is obviously involved in that um, in that Facebook group and gives gives some very good uh, feedback. Um, also, I would say that people on there, some are absolute rank beginners like me. Others have obviously been playing longer and are, are further along in the the learning process, and have been very very helpful in terms of tips and advice, both in playing but also in you know, equipment to buy, which guitar to buy, which strings to buy, how to overcome, you know, particular problems that you might be experiencing. So I think, you know, my overall assessment would be that it's it's an excellent course. I would certainly recommend it to, to anyone. Um, and I would strongly suggest that if you have an inkling that you'd like to be able to play the guitar, whether you're a complete beginner or maybe you've been playing a little while, um, I would certainly recommend that Ian, Ian O'Brien's course is, is a great one to get involved in. Okay.